What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I'm finished. Yeah, right. No, no, nigga. You ain't finished. I've been watching you. You have? You ain't watched behind your ears or nothing. So, listen, in this post that was on Facebook, this young lady that works for a trucking company had her bonus rejected or removed because she was idling the truck. She says they making up something every week to take it. Can they do that? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. They don't talk to you and they don't tell you they took it until you get your settlement. She has a picture of performance bonus removal and it's for idling the truck. So listen, when I call these recruiters and I, I talk to them about, you know, how much they give us, what's the cent per mile, what's the mileage pay, they always have a tendency of upping the mileage pay than what it really is. Some will say, oh, well, it's 65 cent a mile, but it's only you get the extra couple of cents for my uh for mileage pay because of the bonus incentives so you would get like uh two cents for not idling you get maybe another two cent for uh not having a bad inspection maybe you get uh another two cents for you know for the fuel you know not fueling up the truck as much and a lot of these drivers think that's a good idea because they think they're going to get paid more money. But, le but, but let me just tell you what it really is. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's just, it's just the ploy to entice you to come in. Of course, the more money they offer, the more, the, the more enticing it becomes. See, bonus is arbitrary and it is discretion of the company. They can take it anytime they want. They can give it to you anytime they want. So they can start and stop anytime that they want. See, going into the winter time, it's gonna be cold. Some places gonna be downright nasty. And sometimes the APUs, depending on what type of system that you have for your truck, because if you got one of them trucks that has like an EPU or, or, or a system that runs off the battery or something like that, in the middle of the night, that bad boy can go out and you can wake up freezing in the morning. So you will have to turn the truck on and idle it so you can stay warm. Now, some companies have idle limiters, right? So the idle only stays on for like five or 10 minutes. And you literally have to sit up in the, in the driver's seat to hit the gas or hit the fuel pedal in order for the truck to stay on a little bit longer. See, those are the companies you don't want to work for. I, I, I go as far as to say those companies really, you know, they care about you, but they don't care about you, you know? So they looking at production costs. The cheaper they can run the truck, the more money that they can make off that truck, if that makes any sense. See, that's why when I go into a company, all that other stuff don't matter to me because one day you can pull up into the into the scale house and get a bad uh, get a bad report that's gonna go against your safety quote unquote bonus. You probably might be going down a hill speeding and you don't know about it. You get pulled over and you get a speeding ticket. That's gonna go against your safety bonus idle the truck because it's like below zero or something like that you're gonna lose your safety bonus 
so all of that you know don't don't tell me about performance bonuses i i don't want to know all about that just tell me how much money or how much cent per mile that i will actually be making is it 60 is it 65 let me know i i don't i want to know without the bonuses because like i said before you know everything else finding out how much you make everything else is secondary everything else would just be that bonus so if you should get a a bonus check at the end of the three months that's something you you shouldn't look forward to because you're going to be sorely disappointed when you don't get it i mean that that do make a lot of sense right you know if you expect to get a bonus every three months and then up all of a sudden you don't get that bonus and they tell you why of course you're going to be pissed off you're going to be upset you're going to be like bro i was inspecting that because i was inspecting the money because i was going to do something with the money right but if you don't know about it then you wouldn't be inspecting it right so don't tell me about performance bonuses safety bonuses and and stuff like that you know don't add it in to to what i be making cent per mile because i'm not looking for i'm not looking for that i'm looking for a company that i can make good money that i can get home when i need to get home and get good miles on top of it i'm looking at it as a settlement part at the end of the week not as a as as something to look forward to every three months but if it's coming into the winter time which it is and you can't idle well that's going to be a problem anyway right that's that's going to be a problem going into the future anyway because it's going to be cold it's going to be three months before we start seeing some good weather so be prepared for not getting paid your bonus with that said maybe you might want to consider another company to drive for in the winter time you know that's just my thoughts my thoughts so take it how you want it just know that a lot of these companies love to entice you with all these so-called bonuses which in all honesty in my opinion is all frivolous so there you have it drivers that's my thoughts tell me yours in the comments below i'm like beethoven with the bass on and me class kids who went pop death to the hater won't stop let's talk key scales won't drop you don't even need a scale to know i'm on top me and mozart could bars you got bops heard you writing tiffany a whole symphony you a symptom me but go off or make a masterpiece for you or at least it's gonna hit like rump bump bump y'all offend to me like this symphony your career's done, done, done.